Hi everyone, in this video I'll go over the Grasshopper script that allows you to create this structure with uh, connections and an outside skin. Okay, so to get started I am going to create a, a YZ plane and that's because we're just going to create a form here to kind of start creating our uh, well, creating the plane so we can start creating the form uh, relative to that plane. So let's create a uh, R. And we'll put the plane here. We'll give it a radius of 120. And so there we have that arc sitting upright on the YZ plane. And what we're going to do is extrude it in which direction? We're going to go in the same direction as the YZ plane, but we're going to create an amplitude. That way we can choose that vector going in that direction, plug that in here, and give it a length of 240. So now that we have this form we can move on and start creating uh, the rest of the structure so to create the structure I am going to subdivide that surface using contours and to do that I'm going to create a bounding box around this whole extrusion and I'm going to unpreview it and do a box corners to give us the points on the outside. Now we're also going to create a, the direction in which the contours are going to go. So we're going to create a line from point A to point B. So let's go from A to C. That goes across to D. So that creates one going in this direction, which is what we want. And we want to create another one that goes in let's see if this is the direction we want to go so let's just keep plugging it here to see so that's going vertical but we want one to go this way and one that way so let's keep I'm going to try to see Okay, so we've successfully created that one that goes in one direction and one that goes in a 90 degree direction. And that's going to give us the basically the direction that we want to create the contours. Also, we want to create a midpoint. So let's see if we can find a vector midpoint here or a curve division. Let's see if we find the midpoint here. So polygon center. That'll give us the so you give give us the center point of this one, which is good. And it'll give us also the center point of that one, which is what we want. Now we're going to create a contour. And we're going to plug in the shape, which is going to be this extrusion. The point is going to be where it starts. So it's going to start at that center point, And it's going to go in this direction. And it's going to ask us for a distance. So we're going to say 16 for 16 inch interval. And so it created a contours going in this same direction or going parallel uh, perpendicular to this direction so we're going to do the exact same thing for this other one we're going to create the point it's going to be here the shape's going to be the same but the direction's going to be in this direction and the distance we're going to keep it the same so in essence we can increase and de decrease the the spacing 
and what's good about this is it'll do it centered so since we picked the the center point to be in the middle here it's gonna be equally spaced on both ends which is what we want and now that we have these two sets of contours uh, what we want to do is find where they intersect by going here to the intersect tab and under physical curve and curve it'll give us the option of taking a set of curves here and these set of curves and seeing where they intersect and as you can see the default it just goes across here but if you flatten one side of them it'll give you where they all intersect now what you might want to do also is take all of these and unpreview them so you have a clear view of kind of the structure you have created uh, we can also hide this extrusion here and have the basic structure of um, yeah the basic structure of the of the design you have so uh, from here what we want to do is create the thickness of the structure which we're just gonna do basic pipe type in pipe here and with this pipe we just go ahead and take both of these contours and plug them right in and so if we go here to flat caps that'll be kind of the quickest way of creating the initial structure now at these intersecting points we do want to create a connection and so that's what I'm going to show you how to do here we're gonna take this and we're gonna give it a specific radius of 1.50 dot 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 three so that'll give us a range of one to three and so 1.5 to 3 so let's go here to radius and plug that in there and now what I'm gonna do is hide this and do another pipe with the same contours but this time give it a radius of 2 and we're at every intersection where we have that point we're going to create a sphere we're going to give the sphere a 8 inch radius which will give us a six, uh, 16 inch diameter and to increase the quality you can go here to the top right and go to high quality that way it's a lot cleaner now let's make sure to also go to flat here and now we can create the connections so with both the sphere and the pipes we can do a intersection so it's called solid intersection and what we want to keep are the pipes so we put that at A or actually it doesn't matter with an intersection they're both it's just gonna take what's inside of the middle but as you can see if we unpreview these it'll only give us a set that is incorrect so we would have to go here and flatten it and that way it gives us all the connections and we can go ahead unhide this and see that yeah those are the correct intersections and we can move on to completing the structure one of the things I want to do is to make sure that these are one whole solids complete solid so let's do a solid union plug that in here and hide this and now as you can see these are watertight solids and we can now bring back the original pipes and we can 
also do a difference of keep we want to keep the the connection and we want to subtract the pipes we can hide this let's see if we find this it'll work So the trick to get this one, to get the hollowed out connections, is to flatten the bottom one. That's the way that I was able to get it to work. And so we could also take the B rep. So deconstruct. Oh, let's go here. Deconstruct the B rep. That we initially extruded. We're going to take the edges and so let's take the edges, plug them in here, and then the radius will do it the same as the connection. Caps. So we'll join these edges first. Then we'll bring them in here and then flatten it, graft it, doesn't work. So let's just take these edges, plug them in here, do flat ones. see if we do a difference between these pipes and these outside ones to give it a clean connection. So let's flatten this and we can go ahead and hide the preview on that. We have clean connections everywhere and we have successfully created that structure. Since we do have this extrusion, we can go ahead and offset it. the distance of two. Let's see what we got here. Let's go in the negative direction. To make it offset out. And so there we have that final structure with an outside skin and the structure with connections. So here's the final result of the render that I did. It, um, it turned out pretty good, so let me know if you have any questions or would like to see uh, videos of other content. Make sure to like and subscribe uh, if you like the content, and uh, stay tuned for other videos. Thank you very much for watching.